numbers on the board. And I got this. They shot to me. Fourth season in the league with the Houston Rockets, made oh, wow. the all-rookie team. Jay Sean Tate joining us now from a cold Midwest area of the country. Good luck with that, by the way. Uh, Rockets, 18 and 18. You guys are already four shy of last season's total. What's different? Um, I mean, everything. I mean, I think Coach Udoka coming in um, shows you guys um, how, how much of an impact he's had on us. Um, and with the additions of, you know, uh, some veterans around us, uh, our young core is, has been everything. And um, Alperin Sengun coming into his own, um, playing at an all-star caliber, uh, has really been great for us as well. Jay Sean, like you said, it's Ime Udoka's first season as head coach of this team. What's the biggest thing that he's brought for you guys? Um, I think he's just given us a, a defensive presence, um, um, identity. Um, we really pride ourselves on, on that end. And um, I think we've been a problem for teams. And, um, you know, there's going to be growing pains. And there's some games that we, we thought we could get away with um, that, you know, we have to learn from. But ultimately, we we're, we're in a, a way better spot than we were um, prior years. And we're only going to continue to get better. Jay John, you guys had a tough loss last night. Uh, sorry about that, Sean. Did you have a follow-up question? All you. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. God damn it, just saw that. Uh, you had a tough uh, loss last night in Chicago, but good news, you got the Pistons coming up. Uh, come <laughs> on now. Good they got three wins, though. Is there some sort of pressure going into a game like that? You don't want to be the, you don't want to lose to those guys, right? Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say uh, we're worried about them as much as it is about us. Um, you know, Coach Silas is over there, so um, it's always good to see him. But, um, you know, we're, we're trying to get uh, more wins on the road. Um, we, we protect at home at this point pretty good, but um, we're still trying to find a road identity. And, uh, you know, it's a good good chance that we do that tomorrow. <laughs> JT, you learning real fast, man. That was a great, that was a great answer. Don't, don't give him anything well that can put on the clipboard with some added incentive to beat you guys. I, I, I gotta ask you this: You guys added Dylan Brooks in this in the summertime and off season. What's that been like playing with Dylan, and what does he give you guys? Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's funny because you know I didn't really know Dylan before um, before he came to the team, but I mean he's a he's one of the best teammates, man. He's one of the the best play, uh, teammates to take the floor with. Um, you know, I enjoy being his teammate and what he brings uh, for us to this team is important. And, you know, we're missing him out there right now, but he'll be back real soon. What have you What have you seen him do on the floor <laughs> with some of his antics? you like, damn, I'm glad this dude on my team and not, a, not the other way around. <laughs> I mean, he just doesn't play, take uh, take plays off, man. I mean, he's, he's, he's full throttle at all times. Like, he's locked in from... Uh, when we get there from shoot around till game time, and um, you know his work ethic um, shows in the game. Um, he just brings us that fire, that grit, and uh, we feed off of it for sure. He's a great. He doesn't break character. Like he's a great heel. I, I'm. I'm just that whole pre that pregame stare down thing. He never I breaks. Think he stole mm -hmm. that from me too, by the way. But that's another. Yeah, but you're not. You're. you're did he? You're just so nice. I can't even imagine. <laughs> just kidding. He's not that nice. Um, all right. Earlier in the season, you were ejected from a game for, quote, an overt gesture, and you questioned the integrity of the ref. We are huge fans of overt <laughs> gestures here. So uh, what was it, and what did you say to the ref? Statute of limitations is up. You're safe. Um, I think, man, so <laughs> many games. I got to even think so back. So many games. Uh, honestly, I think uh, I, I literally wasn't even talking to you, uh, but... Um, I said it's like we're playing uh, eight on five out here. Not mm. out here. Yeah, that'll get you. Oh, that's, that's going to do it. Yeah. Really? yeah, but anytime you that's, insinuate that's the refs are cheating, they will get so... They don't like that? Oh, no. So like sensitive. That. All right. Jay Sean, you you went on a draft out of Ohio State. You had quite the journey. Yeah. You played in Belgium. Like, you, you're one of the great dra undrafted success stories in the league going right now. Um, for you, what was that like playing abroad? Now you're playing in the NBA. You're a starter. You come off the bench, six man. Was it a big culture shock for you coming to the states and playing full time in the NBA? Uh, yeah, I mean for sure. I mean, I, I think uh, throughout my journey, everywhere I've been um, has been a different style of play. 
um, you know, my first year in Belgium, I, I really felt like uh, um, I learned how to play the game, you know, really uh, the importance of ball movement, um, being off the ball, spacing and stuff. And then when I went to Australia, uh, I had the opportunity to be coached by Will Weaver, who uh, also was a assistant coach here with the Rockets a few years ago. And um, he kind of molded me to be able to play that style when I got to the league. And, um, you know, I got to play with some great players along the way, um, some some European greats. Um, Andrew Bogut uh, was my teammate over there at uh, in Sydney. And then um, fast forward to now, um, you know, the last – Four years in uh, Houston, I think my role has changed um, every year uh, and, and the position. So um, it's just been a learning experience. This year has been a learning experience, and uh, you know, I'm just taking it how it goes. Uh, food items in Belgium that you miss? Any? <laughs> Ooh. I got to say the French fries. People don't know French fries are actually from Belgium. With the they mayonnaise, that. right? No, yeah. that's poutine. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. What do they sure. call it? Poutine? No, that's that's. It's not ranch. Yeah. It's not. No, and do you, I, the mayonnaise thing at first, you're like, I don't know, but no, it's, it's, it's legit gross. mayonnaise. It's, it's gross. legit. It's, no, it's, it's not it's gross. Right. Nah, yeah, tripping. Both yeah. of y'all tripping. He's oh, yeah. telling you. <laughs> he is telling you. All right. So you had a uh, look. James Harden has had quite the roller coaster ride in the league, and you played with him in Houston. It was only eight games. What an interesting time for you to have to play with James Harden. Um, I, I don't imagine he was thrilled in those days. Like, what was that like? Um, yeah, I mean, there was a lot going on. Uh, coaches changed. Um, you know, some players want to change. And um, all I can really remember is just like, you know, that was my rookie year. So uh, <laughs> that first week, everybody caught COVID. You know, I wasn't even expecting to. Hmm. to uh, really play like that, you know, coming in um, on a non-guarantee and then half the team caught COVID. So, you know, I went out there, I'm like, yo, this is, I remember the first game was Portland uh, versus us. And, you know, him and Dame were just going back and forth at it. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is this is the real deal. And, um, you know, he, he definitely was, you know, um, helpful with me that first year for the eight games I had, just being able to play with a pro like him. Um, and, uh, you know, I wish you nothing but success. All right. I know you all had one incident in practice. What happened? Uh, it just, it was, it was just basketball. You know, the second unit was getting up on the first unit. Um, <laughs> you know, it just got a little competitive, but it was blown way out of proportion. We were cool. We See? always, we always tell these stories. Yeah. Chandler and I, we always say like, trust me, if y'all really seen what goes on behind the scenes and practices when it gets heated and competitive, that's just the tip Is of the iceberg. Is it just because we don't see it? Like with the Jordan Poole drama, I think there was a video, but we don't see it usually. If you don't see, yeah, like these okay. things. There's are, a story every day that could It's be something just, happening gosh. every day, you know, whether it's yeah. personal or whatever. Player but, going <laughs> out of coach, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you, you've, you've, you've played next to Boogie Cousins. Um, you have any good Boogie stories? I, I, got a, I got a ton of Boogie stories. This is my guy. You got any good Boogie stories? I think the funniest story I got with Boogie is uh, we were in the training room one time. And we got this full mirror. We got this, like, full body mirror. And he walks by it. He double takes. He goes, what happened to me? I used to look like a, I used to look like a cell. <laughs> That was, like, one of the funniest stories uh, that I got of him because he had the whole whole uh, training room. Funny. Dying in tears. Life, life comes out you fast. It's, it's very, very Life humbling. comes out you real fast. Jay Sean, you've also, you've been compared to a few vets P.J. Tucker's one of them, Draymond Green's the other. Do you like these comparisons? Do you, what, what do you think about these? Uh, I, I definitely think there's some, some, some similarities, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm, I'm just Jay Sean Tate, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's definitely things that um, I try to, you know, take from them and, and learn from them. Uh, from afar, you know, I got a, the opportunity to play with PJ um, for for a year, my first year as well. And um, man, he was hard. He was hard uh, on me that first year um, with the low man and how just being in the in defensive um, in the right position. So uh, that was a, a learning point for me. So I definitely uh, do that. I remember how he used to yell at me, and then. Fast forward, I'm yelling at rookies just like he did. So, 
Um, there's definitely some 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 similarities, but uh, I think we're all different. It's all cyclical. All right, off the court for a second. Um, over the summer, you you interned, you volunteered at a burger joint at, through the drive-thru. First of all, <laughs> why would you want to? I mean, I, I did the restaurant stuff for a long time. People are mean. Did you like it? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They was giving me a hard time. <laughs> one dude wanted a Coke, then he wanted ice, and then one, he wanted ice and Coke in different cups. Oh, God. Line was long. I wasn't there too Long, man, it was a humbling experience. Um, but you know, uh, shout out to Bum B. Uh, <laughs> he has a great establishment going, man, and the burgers are, are actually terrific. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, me and JT are probably the only two people in this conversation that has had Trill Burger. Trill Burger, no, yeah. had Trill Burger. Shut yeah. up, <laughs> Wait, is, is that is <laughs> that the same one that James Harden was having? Like, he had a bunch of burgers in his hand. Was hey, that the man, same one? Hey, I'm asking. I'm asking. He's genuinely I'm asking. I'm, 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 you guys remember that video? Uh, mm. Mama, I went a little off topic here. Is it a good burger? <laughs> it's an actually. Is it a, a good smash burger? burger? It's like a smash yeah, burger. Yeah, I'm rolling. It's an actually good burger. Shout out to Bun. They got a vegan burger as well. See? Okay. If you don't, no thanks. No, Chandler said no thanks. I'm out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, you're very much involved in the community. You've got Christmas for kids, a basketball clinic for special needs kids, um, co local coffee, which we could use right now. Uh, <laughs> what? Why? Where does all that passion come from? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, Houston is like the first, uh, you know, team to give me an opportunity, and this has been my home here for the past five years, and. Um, the community, the community has shown nothing but love to me, and you know I've been blessed um, where I am, and um, you know where I come from is it's always good to you know be involved and give back. So, um, like I said, I got blessed to meet some really good people uh, through coffee. Uh, David Brewer, who owns uh, Blacksmith Coffee, is one of the best baristas um, in the city. So, if y'all ever go to Houston, you want to check that out. Um, he put me in contact with uh, a guy named Remy Yusuf, who runs the Knife Wonder Foundation. Um, like you said, uh, is a, uh, a foundation that helps kids uh, on the spectrum um, play play basketball, um, have clinics and stuff like that. But also um, through just networking, I, I met um, a girl named Lily. Um, Lily DeBo, I just want to get her name right. A 14-year-old girl um, who has a warehouse full of toys that she just gives out to the community. Wow. And um, she, she's she been doing this for, uh, you know, a few years now, and it's grown every year. And uh, this Christmas was a very great experience where we had a couple families come in and um, give them some Rockets gear, and they got to pick out. I mean, That's they, awesome. they had so many toys that, you know, I kind of felt bad for their mom. I'm like, I told them they got to pick up these toys when they go home. <laughs> <laughs> Too many toys now. That's, oh, that's man, awesome. so many toys. But, um, yeah, uh, it's just been a great, uh, great experience for me being in this city. And, you know, I love the city. And, it, and when you give it love, it'll love you back. So. You got that, Jay Sean, I, I got drafted there in 2011, and some of my best relationships are still the, you know, people I've met from the court side, sitting court side, or these galas. So you, you nailed it. That, that city in particular for me, you do. You show love. You do things that you're doing in the community, and they're gonna love you always, bro. So keep doing that. Mm -hmm. So Jay Sean, everyone has a welcome to the NBA moment. Oh. I need to hear yours. Besides the Boogie Cousins moment, maybe that, that was, was you know cute. interesting in your own NBA, uh, one, but for you specifically. I, I got a good one. <clears throat> I can't remember which um, which Morris twin it was. Oh gosh. I gotta go back. And look. <laughs> Never a good start. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. I think it was the Lakers. It was like, and Keith Boogie Cousins is actually in this story as well. Um, but, you know, I'm a Big Ten guy. So, you know, when guys cut, you're supposed to chuck them. You know what I'm saying? So guys guys are going in lane. I'm chucking them, you know, to stop the cut. Man, I must have chucked the wrong, wrong, wrong person. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm big there behind the basket. <laughs> but, uh, I know Keith was at him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, uh, that was definitely one of my welcome to the league moments. Um, but, you know, Boogie, Boogie had my follow up. And uh, I'm like, yo, what happened? Like, I asked him after, yeah, he's like, yo, you can't be doing that out here. Like, you know, like, we don't do that up here. So um, that's definitely, definitely 
was my first one. For I sure. love that everyone has a story. It's <laughs> so good. Jay Sean, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way. Stay warm up there. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you. Yeah, for good luck the rest of the way, bro. Lou, you want to yeah. apologize to Shams? He was right. Shams was right. Yep, Shams was right. Same I'm burger. Like, oh, Same the burger. Picture, yeah. That's the, bur the, the burger in the picture. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, that man has a family. Run it up. Run it back. Run it back. Run it up. Run it back. Run it up. Run it back. Yeah, yeah.